Hi guys, and welcome to today's Coffee Chat. I'm Dr. Boomer Brown. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me today. Today we're talking about reality. And to do this, I want you to start listening to what goes on inside your head when it comes to reality. You see, what we tend to do is we have a thought, put a period, and then we add some additional sentences to end the rest of the paragraph. Here's an example. My child's out of control, period. The reason he's out of control is he doesn't like his school and uh, I don't think his teachers like him. He's struggling with his uh, subjects. He's just not fitting in. He can't find his place and he's just out of control. See, what we do is we state a reality, my child's out of control, period, and then the additional sentences that are there to soften the blow of the reality. Sometimes those sentences can be excuses. Sometimes those sentences help me to minimize or to cope with the situation. See, the truth is we don't want to deal with the reality. But what I want to encourage you to do today is to stop that cycle, to stand up against that tendency that we all have and to see reality as it really is. This is the reality. In the example, my child's out of control. Now the question is, what will I do with it? Will I continue to accept it and to let it go on as it currently is? Well, there's lots of things in our lives that we can't control. But there are some things in our lives that we actually create the reality. Or, in some instances, we allow the reality. Hence, we have to look at the reality as it is, and we have to say, this is what it is. Then we have a choice. Do we accept it and continue in that current reality, or do I step up to the plate and I say, I don't accept this as the reality, and we decide to do something different. We don't want it to continue the way it's continuing. We acknowledge the reality is what it is. It's real, and we need to deal with it. It could be a health issue. It could be your weight. It could be a conflict. It could be relational. It could be your career. It's all kinds of things that it, you know, that it could be. But whatever it is, whatever it is, whatever your reality is, that is what it is. And today I want to encourage you to look squarely into the face of that reality. And I want you to, to say this, that reality, my finances, my health, my relationships, my careers, whatever it is, I want you to look it straight in the face, as bad as it may be, to own it, to step up to it, and to say, you know, I don't have to settle for this. Look at your reality. Don't try to explain it away. And then ask this question. Am I willing to allow that to be what it is? Or am I willing to do something different? At Doing Good at Work, we know that you can change your reality. You can be different. And sometimes you need resources and people to help you in the process. That's why we're here. If we can help you with your reality today to make that change, to start that process, just click on that button to send an email to a coach. Someone will respond to you, whether it's with a resource or some type of email exchange where you can share ideas and thoughts and get some guidance. That's why we're here at Doing Good at Work, to make people better. 
Thank you for letting me share this with you today. I hope you'll come back next week. I look forward to seeing you again here on A Coffee Chat.